In the last video we built this 8 engine gearbox and used this as a water bump. But today we disassemble the water bump and attach gearbox to the gearbox. Taking this water bump apart is actually pretty simple except impeller. Because I super glued this to the output shaft so I had no other choice to break this. This output shaft is a bit rusty but... And from the last application there are a couple of gears what break down. Uh, this is completely my fault, when I was 3D printing them I tried to save material and time. I use only two for the wall thickness if I remember correctly and uh, maybe 10% of infill. But now I 3D printed out new ones what are way stronger and will not break down, probably. But now it's time to start building new gearbox. And again everything is printed out with ABS and all the STL files are free in the video description below if you wanna build this by your own. Actually not really much is needed. Only gearbox body and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gears. So okay, let's run the building montage. Well, building this gearbox was actually pretty simple. Those two mounts what I am installing right now, between those two will be the load lifted. And also I screw gearboxes to this wood plate. And then I drill the hole to the steel rod and push through 3mm bolt. I will tie the rope there. But okay, let me explain the setup for you. The gear ratio for the gearbox what we just built is 1 to 729. But overall gear ratio is 1 to 2187. Because the gearbox what we built in last episode have also 1 to 3 gear ratio. Between those two mounts are hole, through the hole is rope and rope is connected to the load. I think everything is pretty clear now, so let's finally start lifting something. For the weight I will use old car brake pads. One brake pad is a bit more than 9 kilograms. And I add one water bottle, so let's call this test to the 10 kilograms. This 10 kilograms was extremely simple for this gearbox. And it's taking pretty much time to finally lift up something. So I speed up the footage because I don't wanna waste your time. 
Now I add one brake pad and water bottle more and this is now 20 kilograms. Well, the 20 kilograms was also easy busy. But let's give now this gearbox a real challenge. I try to lift up all brake pads what I find at once. Total weight is somewhere around 44 kilograms. And actually even this one was pretty easy. Gearbox did sound a bit different, but it's up, it stays up and passed the test successfully. And for next test I had to find something even more heavier. This is Anvil, I hope I say this word correctly in English. This is really old one, but I managed to read out somewhere at the side that this is 78 kilograms. So let's see, will this gearbox lift this up? I have to move this a bit because it's getting stuck. And again. Well, this is up. I grab my camera to do the close footage to prove this is really up with this gearbox. I don't know what you think, but I am thinking this is pretty impressive. Lifting up anvil with 3D printed plastic gears and 8 micro motors. <laughs> Not bad. And for no reason I wanna run this test once more. And you just saw how one gear flow away. If you remember at the beginning I told there was bad gears what I breathed out with the wrong settings. Well this was one of them what I missed. But all the other gears are fine. I proved this after this uh, test. And this is how everything look after the final test. All those small gears are completely fine, except this one what flow away what was printed with wrong settings. And even the new gearbox what we pulled today, 
Well, these have given up also extremely well. I don't see any visible wear on the teeth or some other places. So I am not afraid to say this that both those gearboxes are a big success. So if you did like this video, you might like this, let's say part one, where we're building this eight motor gearbox and uh, using this as water bump. I leave this link down below and here up right corner. I am extremely thankful when you leave the like for this video, if you did like this video, maybe hit the subscribe button and what is most important, see you guys next time. But today, bye.